Okay, so this part's the ball chain pull. Um, again, Tuscan red, bright pink, halo pink gold. And my base will be titanium white with Floetrol. And kind of the consistency of like loose yogurt, I guess. Warm honey. Eh. I'm looking for um, kind of uh, Valentine's colors. I'm going to... So, uh, before I do that, um, you kind of need to look at your ball chain and you need to figure out if it's your ball chain has enough um, looseness to or uh, if it bends easily enough to actually uh, snake on your move on your rock if it doesn't because some some are uh, don't have enough give <clears throat> to actually be able to uh, move easily to pull on your rock that you need a bigger rock or you need a smaller ball chain or one that has more give to it so you need to check that before you do it or you'll be disappointed um, and initially I had done this the other way on my rock but my rock was sloping and I didn't like the way it was so I wanted to redo it so it's because my rock is sloping towards me now so uh, I think this is going to be a better result. So, all right. Base coat, in case you're wondering, why does her rock look a little pink? Well, that's why. Because, you know, in the world of rocks, you can have a do-over. Unlike many things in life. All right. So, and I apologize that I keep bumping that. I will not have that to my right next time. Let's see. How did I get into this? Well, I watched, um, I don't know, I was watching YouTube. I saw some guy doing um, a wing pour, and then I got down the rabbit hole of, how do you do a wing pour? But I wanted to be able to do it on a rock. So I kind of started off with pour painting but I want to be able to do things people do on a canvas on a rock because I have some sort of disorder. So um, I started off with that and then it turned into painting on rocks. So now I have rocks for pour painting, rocks for hand painting. Yeah, I've got rocks, let me just say. Okay, setting that aside. Got my ball chain. Got my toothpicks. Because my ball chain is longer than I need. I mean, I didn't want to cut it. Um, I also don't want to have it run away from me. Because I'm playing chicken and working over my carpeting, so not be cool i'm just saying not cool um, on the other hand it would not be the first time i've had to get acrylic paint out of my carpet i'm just saying i'm sure nobody else here can identify with that so or maybe i'm just the only one okay once your chain's all coated i will keep my toothpick handy for laying down my chain that's a lot of paint now yeah might be too much let's all right so i also wanted it to kind of go from the top which is pointed to the bottom which is bigger so if i want to have more 
<clears throat> like other ad additional things at the bottom, I can do that. I can do add-ons, if you will. And then, kind of like with the string pull, trying to go straight off the stone and let the paint absorb for a moment. And then the goal is to pull straight down. can't see it, but I got a towel in my lap. I'm wiping my chain off here because it's got white paint on it in addition to the pink. As does now my black shirt. Uh -huh. I keep threatening that I'm only going to have one set of paint clothes, but I lie to myself. Okay. So, kind of like that. But I'd also like to have a little something at the Something else maybe down here too, so I'm gonna take another dip, but not as much chain in the paint this time because it's not necessary. I'm not gonna mess around with the upper part. Um, and you know, I have some smaller chains somewhere around here, but do you think I can find them anywhere? No. So. Not what I was hoping for. more color. All right, let's see. I'd like to get some more gold on that. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one alone. I might actually just put a little, dip my in ball there. For the stem. And now I'm gonna leave this alone. Let's see. Oh, this gets. Okay, that's the end of that. Okay, thanks for watching.